We're gonna be talking about the uh, Han Solo trailer that was part of the, uh, what was it? It was the Super Bowl trailer? But before that, we've got an unboxing video. Because my hair trimmer died on me. And this needs to get fixed, so. Got a new one! Lovely internets. All $8 worth of electronic equipment made by courtesy of little Chinese children paid $5 a month. Let's, let's see, see, if, they, inside, let's see right? if they got overpaid or not. <laughs> okay. Yeah, oh, paper. Multiple languages. Eh, Ukrainian. There. No one wants to see that. Comically enough, this is being recorded just after we recorded the thing about the Zaporozhian Cossacks. Life likes to be iron. User's manual. Whoever reads those. It's a hair trimmer. If you don't know how to use it, the manual's not going to tell you how. Pretty much this stuff. Let's see what it, what we have. Cleaning comb. I mean, good enough, right? You need to clean that shit or it clogs up. So I'm gonna say good enough, Chinese children. Let's see, long hair. Not a long hair. Yeah. I'm just gonna. Not a long hair. Hide my hair for a minute. Three millimeter. This is gonna go for the top. This is a keeper. Actual friggin' thing. And things already get detached. I guess it's just the blade protection, so. I mean, looks pretty. <laughs> Normal, I guess. I wanted a cordless one, let's face it. I don't do hair trimming shit for other people. I just shave my own hair so. I don't really care for them to stay online, honestly. I, I can't do with the 30 minutes that batteries usually last. Uh, whatever. They didn't have anything for this money left in the store, so we'll live with the cord. Honestly, how much is their cord? Didn't check. Not long enough for a Chinese kid to make a noose out of, that's for sure. No, that's actually a fucking rule in China. <laughs> Gotta love the mess. Eh. Dogs will take care. Or cats will. They'll chase it somewhere and I'll never see it again. How much is this actually? Speaking of which, while I'm being boring. LT, come here. I mean, I'm gonna guess there's a healthy way to feed. Good enough, I guess. It's okay. Oh, why are you hiding? And this thing makes it longer what it's worth, yeah. And honestly, this actually feels pretty sturdy and heavy for eight dollars. It's like there's actual stuff in there. Mm, nice. So it's not just like light crap, I mean I've had actual barbers trimmers in my hands that were expensive and this is just as heavy, so I mean, let's face it, it's eight dollars, and it actually has a two-year warranty on it. So I'm probably, even worst case scenario, I'm gonna get limitless ones for the next two years anyway. So I say, good investment. You're getting your money's worth. Come on. <laughs> Especially if you use that. Um, uh, God, what's the word? You just said this fucking word, and I've already forgotten it. Um, warranty, <laughs> warranty. That's the word I was looking for. Anyway. Oh, indeed. Now, always use your warrant. You're paying for something. Yep. <laughs> now, let's spend some time talking about the fucking train wreck that is going to be the Han Solo movie. Red actually told me about how atrocious this, uh, this trailer was earlier in the week. I didn't get to watching it until today. 
and after watching it, I completely fucking agree. What did they do to Hans? They stripped him of all character in order to make him generic anti-hero number 1000. He's Kylo Ren for the good guys, for fuck's sake. That's not even Han Solo. I mean, look. You can't top Harrison Ford, no. but you can yeah. imitate him. And you know what? There's been a joke going around the movie world for a while now that Garrett Hedlund, while filming Pan and playing a young hook, actually made an audition reel for Han Solo. And if you look at that crap movie in that light, yeah, he would have done the job. He would have been a good copy. What we got is someone that played in a teen romance movie years ago. I know what it reminds That's me of. His... They literally recreated the fucking um, Captain Kirk from the new Star Trek movies. He's literally just another Captain Kirk from the Star Tre from the new Star Trek movies. To be fair, Chris Pine actually has more talent and charisma, so he still comes up Yes, <laughs> I will give you that. Good God, it's, it, it's like trying to watch a... You go in to watch this trailer, and you think you're watching the worst James Bond trailer ever because it was published by Disney. Or even worse. I mean, listen, we're dealing with something. There is actually a fan movie about Han Solo, I believe it's called The Life of the Smuggler on YouTube, and everyone can watch it because it's for free. These guys managed to get an actor that pulled it off better. Here's the part that actually bothers me. I mean, they didn't even capture Han Solo in the scenes they cut up for that teaser trailer. Yeah, they, yeah, they, they totally did. I mean, they, that that's my biggest thing. Han Solo never... Han Solo can make anything attractive, right. but this is not fucking Han Solo. Well, they had that one scene in the trailer where um, uh, he's talking to the guy who's trying to pull together a team. Could you be any more fucking generic with your film premise? And uh, Chewie responds. Woody Harrison was more Han Solo yes. than Han Solo. Yes. And then Chewbacca responds, and then they have Han Solo say, that means yes. That's not fucking Han Solo. Han Solo never directly translated Chewie. He responded to Chewie, but if he had to translate for someone, he made a smart-ass comment because the person didn't understand. Yeah. Pretty much. And, and, and it's just so soulless. I, I mean, like, I can't even see Han Solo in the actor they chose, so they fucked up somewhere with no, makeup. They... He's... He's kind of like a brown, reddish, light color. It's like... That's not, that's not Han Solo's hair color. And it looks, you know what? It looks fucking extremely thin. You had more hair on Harrison Ford than the Force Awakens that you have on this. Yeah. And, good lord, I mean, here's the thing, I didn't actually have much hope for anything Star Wars following The Last Jedi. Because I watched that movie, and it was like, okay, is this the ending of the film? No. Still got 45 minutes in the... Okay, yes, I pirated it. Bite me. Still got 45 minutes left in the video. Is this the end? Nope. Still got 35 minutes left in the video. Is this the end? It just kept going, and they just destroyed so many characters that you, especially if you're, you know, a little bit older and grew to love these characters over time, suddenly they're throwing them all away to make room for Chinese extra number, you know, 32, whatever her fucking name was, who falls in love with Finn, and then, you know, I mean, Finn, Finn's an okay character, I guess. But then they, yeah. they threw in this... Yeah, this... It's okay, and the, act, and the actor actually tries. Yes. You gotta give Bowie a gun. And it's a pretty original concept for a character. I'm glad they went in that direction. It shows they were actually paying attention to the extended universe after they threw it out the fucking window. Anyway... <sighs> Maybe why this strikes me so bad with this movie... I still love Han Solo as a kid, okay? He was my ultimate favorite of Star Wars. And this is what you did to me, right? This is what you did to me. Of course you know this means war, right? 
I hope they do, because, I mean, when we thought it couldn't get worse than making uh, uh, Luke Skywalker drink fucking jizz milk, green jizz milk on camera, then they throw this at us. And it's not like, there are a lot of people who are upset about this shit. This is the thing, people don't realize this, but as much as credit is given to Luke, Han is the biggest character of Star Wars. He was the most liked, the most relatable, the most normal character of all. I mean, Luke was made to be the boy next door, but he was too good at the same time. The boy next door is... Yeah, he has his bad moments, and that's the thing. Han just does what comes his way, and what came his way we saw in the biographies that Luke wrote for the characters. Yeah. Or in the extended... Mm, universe books but this this is not han all i can say this is fucking not han. it's i mean i don't know i don't know what disney is doing at this point are they really trying to destroy the entire fan base that existed for the sake of trying to scrap together a new one because you're not going to be able to do it disney i'm telling you this right now star wars is beloved mm -hmm. and you are going to destroy something that is cinematic history Cinematic history, in part because it was so badly put together in the first place. It's not even only that. Now we're dealing with a moment where, you know the prequels that Lucas did, and he's going like, cue all the memes of him going, ha 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 ha. Mm -hmm. Now they miss me anyway, I'm still better. <laughs> uh, and then, uh... Mark Hamill, he he hates the fact that he has a contract with him. I don't I, I don't know whether we're going to be seeing him, you know, even trying, in uh, episode nine or whatever it is. It's, which means, honestly, there's no reason to even go see it, let alone this garbage pile waiting to happen that is the Son Han Solo uh, individual film. Ah, uh, being touching that. And I was a hardcore solo fan. And that's why I'm not even touching it. Nope. No. I mean, it's kind of hard to ruin Chewie, given that it's a character it's who just goes, Arr! but uh, but this is going to ruin Chewie as well. Because suddenly we're not going to get that, that close relationship between Han and, and Chewie. There's not going to be the chemistry yeah. and the dynamic. The chemistry and then the, the dynamic of how they interact as a mockery of whoever they're interacting with. That actually really upset me when I saw that. And the only thing that upset me more in that trailer, if I might be completely blunt, was the fact that they literally ripped off the first Star Trek, the, new, the Star Trek reboots with uh, him racing around in his in his little um, uh, land speeder or whatever it is, in the exact same ways that Kirk was racing around on his motorcycle, being all risky and ooh, no. Mm. <sighs> <laughs> I give it. It's a shame. I give it. Um, Four blown up planets out of ten. How about you? On a scale of vomit inducing from one to ten, I give it a twelve. There you go. Well, we'll catch you next time, folks. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Bonsoir. Bye bye.